Good morning, everyone. It's me on a on a Thursday, which is most unusual. Uh, Richard is on holiday. Going to be doing morning prayer from the Daily Prayer app as usual. And this morning we'll be reading Psalm 78, the 39 verses. And we'll continue in Mark's Gospel uh, this morning as well. Sorry, Psalm 78 we'll be reading. And if you're doing evening prayer tonight, you get the other half of Psalm 78, which is lovely. See who we are praying for today. Kidderminster. East we'll be praying for a little bit later on um, and also the Diocese of Durgapur in India. I really hope I said that right. O Lord open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you creator of all, to you be praise and glory forever as your dawn renews the face of the earth bringing light and life to all creation. May we rejoice in this day you have made as we wake refreshed from the depths of sleep, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open for up. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 78 Hear my teaching, O my people. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will pour forth mysteries from of old, such as we have heard and known, which our forebears have told us. We will not hide from their children but will recount to generations to come the praise of the Lord and his power and the wonderful works he has done. He laid a solemn charge on Jacob and made it a law in Israel, which he commanded them to teach their children, that the generations to come might know and the children yet unborn, that they in turn might tell it to the children so that they might put their trust in God and not forget the deeds of God, but keep his commandments and not be like their forebears, a stubborn and rebellious generation, a generation whose heart was not steadfast and whose spirit was not faithful to God. The people of Ephraim, armed with the bow, turned back in the day of battle. They did not keep the covenant of God and refused to walk in his law. They forgot what he had done and the wonders he had shown them, for he did marvellous things in the sight of their forebears in the land of Egypt, in the field of Zone. He divided the sea and let them pass through. He made the waters stand still in a heap. He led them with a cloud by day, and all the night through with a blaze of fire. He split the hard rocks in the wilderness, and gave them drink as from the great deep. He brought streams out of the rock, and made a water gush out like rivers. Yet for all this they sinned more against him, and defied the Most High in the wilderness. They tested God in their hearts, and demanded food for their craving. They spoke against God and said, Can God prepare a table in the wilderness? He struck the rock indeed, so that the waters gushed out, and the streams overflowed. But can he give bread, or provide meat for his people? When the Lord heard this, he was full of wrath. A fire was kindled against Jacob, and his anger went out against Israel. For they had no faith in God, and put no trust in his saving help. So he commanded the clouds above and opened the doors of heaven. He rained down upon them manna to eat and gave them the grain of heaven. So mortals ate the bread of angels. He sent them food in plenty. He caused the east wind to blow in the heavens and led out the south wind by his might. He rained flesh upon them as thick dust and winged fowl like the sand of the sea. He let it fall in the midst of their camp and round about their tents. So they ate and were well filled, and he gave them what they desired. 
but they did not stop their craving. Their food was still in their mouths. When the anger of God rose against them and slew their strongest men and fouled the flower of Israel. But for all this they sinned yet more and put no faith in his wonderful works. So he brought their days to an end like a breath and their years in sudden terror. Whenever he slew them, they would seek him. They would repent and earnestly search for God. They remembered that God was their rock and the Most High God their Redeemer. Yet they did but flatter him with their mouth and dissembled with their tongue. Their heart was not steadfast towards him, neither were they faithful to his covenant. But he was so merciful that he forgave their misdeeds and did not destroy them. Many a time he turned back his wrath and did not suffer his whole displeasure to be roused. For he remembered that they were but flesh, a wind that passes by and does not return. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The Old Testament reading today is from Proverbs chapter 3, verses 1 to 26. Uh, but we are going to read right now from Mark's Gospel. Chapter 4, beginning at the first at the first verse. Again, again he began to teach beside the lake. Such a very large crowd gathered round about him that he got into a boat on the lake and sat there, while the whole crowd was beside the lake on the land. He began to teach them many things in parables, and in his teaching he said to them, Listen, a sower went out to sow, and as he sowed some seed fell on the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Other seed fell on rocky ground where it did not have much soil, and it sprang up quickly since it had no depth for soil. And when the sun rose, it was scorched, and since it had no root, it withered away. Other seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it, and it yielded no grain. Other seed fell into good soil, and brought forth grain, growing up and increasing and yielding thirty and sixty and a hundredfold. And he said, Let anyone with ears to hear listen. When he was alone, those who were around him along with the twelve asked him about the parables. And he said to them, To you has been given the secret of the kingdom of God, but for those outside everything comes in parables, in order that they may indeed look but not perceive, and may indeed listen but not understand, so that they may not turn again and be forgiven. And he said to them, Do you not understand this parable? then how will you understand all the parables? The sower sows the word. These are the ones on the path where the word is sown. When they hear, Satan immediately comes and takes away the word that is sown in them. And these are the ones sown on rocky ground. When they hear the word, they immediately receive it with joy, but they have no root and endure only for a while. Then when trouble or persecution arises on account of the word, immediately they fall away. And others are those sown among the thorns. These are the ones who hear the word. But the cares of the world and the lure of wealth and the desire for the other things come in and choke the word. And it yields nothing. And these are the ones sown on the good soil. They hear the word and accept it and bear fruit. Thirty and sixty and a hundredfold. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned. I have called you by name. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. you have, I have called you by name, you are mine. You promised, O God, to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to the, our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, 
for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. You promised, O God, to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us. Let us pray. Father, we offer to you our day and we lay everything that we'll do before you. We think of the people that we will meet and the activities that we'll take part in. And we ask, Lord, that you would go before us. That your Holy Spirit would guide us and protect us. And everything we do this day will be for your purposes and for your glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we offer to you our local government, praying for Redditch Borough Council, for our MP. Lord, we pray that they would represent the people of Redditch well, that they would um, seek to serve our communities, We ask, Lord, that they would have a heart for this place, uh, that they would be full of love for the people, and that they would be effective in their decision-making. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Uh, at this time, when we think of school results yesterday and today, we thank you for our schools, Lord. We thank you for the teaching staff, for the, uh, the support staff and so on. Um, and we pray that in this summer break that this will be a season of refreshing. And we pray for the next term that, uh, that hopefully it will be without disruption from COVID-19. Lord, please protect the schools. And we, and we pray for any young people who are uh, disappointed by any results that they've received. Father, we pray that you would um, assure them um, that they are more than uh, letters and numbers on a piece of paper, uh, that they are deeply loved by you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Pray for Kidderminster East team. We pray for all at St Cecilia Kidderminster, St Chad Kidderminster and St Mary Stone. Father, we pray for them as they begin to return to their buildings. May they discover how best to come alongside the communities in which they serve to show God's love. And we offer to you particularly, Father, their clergy, Robert, uh, Robert Legg, and the readers, David Grist, Joe Hodgson, Jeff Surridge, John Chesworth, and Elaine Voice. Father, we pray for their ministry, uh, and that by, by the, the, their leading of services and their preaching, uh, that your name would be uh, glorified in Kidderminster. And we pray, Father, for the for further afield, for the Diocese of Durgapur in India, praying for Bishop Samir. Loving God, you know Durgapur better than we could ever. You know the very hairs on their heads. And so, Lord, we pray that you would bless them, that you would give to them this day their daily bread, uh, that that you would um, protect them, uh, and that you would uh, empower your people for the service of the of the of the poor and for the uh, proclamation of the gospel. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let your merciful ears, O Lord, be open to the prayers of your humble servants, and that they may obtain their petitions. Make them to ask such things 
as shall please you. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, thank you everyone who's joined with me this morning. Uh, do join us at the weekend of services in all our buildings. And uh, you can also join me live on Sunday morning, uh, 9.30 from St. Stephen's uh, on YouTube, uh, if you would prefer to join in that way. Uh, just go to youtube.com slash hotrinityredditch and you can join in with our live stream from there. I'm just trying to delete various Facebook pop-up messages uh, and uh, have a great day. <laughs>